Hello everyone, welcome to this GoSkills.com video. My name is Francesco and in this video we're going to go over the best ways to pick a new project management software for you and your team. So let's jump straight in. Now it's important to understand when you start out with a project management tool, this is an important base for your business. Basically this is going to be the hub of all of your projects and actions for the next couple of months and maybe even for the foreseeable future. So it is important that you pick one base that meets all of your needs, the team's needs, your needs, and also the needs of any future activities. Of course, there are some core needs when you're looking for a project management tool. These are the things that you need a project management tool to meet as soon as you use it. And they are reliable service, consistency, so that the service doesn't go down, a strong feature set, so that you have a lot of different features to your hand in case you need it at any given time, and a responsive support team, so that if you have any queries, questions, they're there when you interact with them. Now, your team needs to be comfortable with this resource, so this is why it is so important when picking a project management resource to be very rigor and ruthless. Finding your needs. Now, all teams obviously have different needs, all businesses have different needs, and it's important when you start out to sit down with your team to research your needs. You need to first evaluate your style of work. Now you need to understand what sort of style of work you base off, whether it's lots of meetings, collaboration online, or whether you're actually remote working, for example. So these are all situations that you need to evaluate, understand what sort of style of work that you guys work in, whether it's over communicative or under communicative. You also need to look at what was important in previous project management softwares. If you find like the collaboration function in terms of like being able to assign tasks or being able to communicate with your team via chat was an important part of your last project management software, then it's definitely something to bring over. So it's definitely worth listing the stuff that worked in previous experiences. In terms of like the common needs that you'll pick out, it will be probably stronger collaboration. These are just regular stuff that people bring out, maybe even better action focus. And this means that you want a more actionable status around your activities that you're doing, or you want an improved view or layout. Now, these tend to be the things that get brought up the most when people are looking for project management software. So evaluating costs. So you may have done that research and you may have worked out all of your working style, the sort of needs that you need as a team. But when it comes to getting a rough idea of the costs, you need to understand what is your budget for this new project management software. It's good to go in with a budget because then you can work out how to save as much as possible or how to stick to the budget. You need to work out how many team members will be needing the software. Are there some development guys who won't actually be using it? They can be stricken off the list. Or are there some managers that you would like to have access that don't normally get access to stuff like this? And how often you'll be using the software? Some softwares are based on pay-as-you-go experiences like usage, and some are based on just as much as you want for annually payments or, or monthly payments. So judging ROI now is an important thing. You need to work out whether the cost is worth this experience. Using the app for a full free trial, which I'll explain more in the next slide, is an important thing to do and tallying the price against the feature set. So if there is a application that is dot 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 more per month, but adds an extra feature set that might come in handy in a year's time, that might be worth the ROI or the investment to pay that little bit extra. In terms of running tests, this is important. So once you've researched, you've evaluated the cost, you've picked one of them at least, one project management software, you need to use it on the full free trial with your team for a full week. This will give you a full opportunity to upload everything, work as you would work and implement the project management software. Obviously it's sort of like pitching up in a tent for a week because that tent might be pulled down or it might turn into a house, but it's a good opportunity for you to work with the project management tool and actually work out the issues. And then what you can do before that week starts is organize an end of week review for that tool and resource so that you can bring together all the team feedback and you can create pointers in advance if you're a manager for your team to evaluate the resource by, by giving maybe a out of 10 statistics so that they can understand what sort of resource when you're going to the next one. Obviously you need to be ruthless with this so if the application doesn't meet your needs then that's fine but you might have a list from there of stuff that you learned from that experience of using it a week and if not if you found it very useful you can return to the application for a week more and give yourself another week because most of these free trials give you 14 days roundabout. Now implementing it let's say you've found a successful project management software 
you need to speak with a member of the team who runs project management software. Sometimes you can get reduced fees or deals if you communicate with the team directly. And then talk to them about the stages of implementing this and also the managing of the admin support too and who in your team will be doing that. Now, maybe it's worth running some sort of team workshop to explain the tool in case some of the members of your team don't really understand it or want to make maximum use of it. And then you can explore the opportunity to work with the project management software as a case study. So for example, some software that you found that might be coming off the ground might want to get some more PR exposure and that could come at the case of reduced costs. So if you go and communicate with them, they might give you some sort of deal. So when it comes to recommendations, I wanted to recommend a few. For collaboration, for ones where you can communicate with others in a more direct style, Asana and Basecamp are well uh, versed in being able to do that. If you're looking for more action-based stuff, so more task management, uh, Meister Task and Todoist Business are great recommendations. And layout and views in terms of being able to have lots of different views and layouts to your experience. Asana's good for that, but Trello and Task World are probably the best out there. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this GoSkills.com video. If you would like to check out more courses, there are some great courses over on the website and there's some stuff you can apply to all of your activities outside of work or even inside of work and they might help. Anyway, guys, make sure to have a great week. Keep productive and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.